Dr. Arthur Kennedy is joining us right now. Um, is a senior member of the MPP for that matter. And Dr. Arthur Kennedy, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us on Keypoint. John Rock is known as the father of liberalism. Hello, Doc. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we can hardly hear you. Uh, well, I, I am there's a bit of an echo so we'll correct that and then um i'll come back to you again um but yes. great this one here from um lawyer kakasamoa says uh, did the npp lawyer i'm sure you're talking about lawyer Mwakwa, noticed the passion of the chief justice when she was issuing um you say the threats all over you say thank you this man uh, also from is, okay uh, your message got truncated at some point good morning as i am watching you from the upper east region in talency bobby bouncing says he's doing justice to the topic you say thank you hardy from pig farm good morning professor jampo should not accept this half-heated apology this individual has defeated or defamed you with intent and aggression consider filing a lawsuit you say here well he has forgiven him um papa bishu says our very dear country is temporarily very sick on that note allowing this regime to continue the future you say is very bleak and you list the ball of kinky and and calipo and so on Seven cities. That is it. Uh, seven no, cities. No, and then, no, no, oh, no. fish. Alfred. Seven cities. Alfred. So, for Alfred. Alfred. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> so, you brought this. Is this why we should be doing it? Alfred. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Calipo, wait Alfred. Alfred. Is this why we should be doing it? I didn't even know. Alfred. Is this why we should be doing it? Alfred. Really? And the how much is it? Really? Of course, I'm leaving. It's a hammer. You don't want to break up. You don't want to break up. No, I see. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's what? 15 cities. Hello, I must be able to say how much do you buy this? 7 cities. And some places. Yes. 10K. No. No, but I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. That is what? I see. Let me go on to. 7, 7, 4. This is. Okay. Let's go on to the next issue. You, 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 you shouting. You, 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 you shouting. You come and address. Oh, which are legal is fine. And then you, you allow this you shouting. Hey, cost of you, living. Ah, but it's okay. Uh, no, 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 so, so so hold on, hold on. Let me Let go on to the next one. This one says, I want to provide him with some documents. Armed forces regulations. The microphone is off, actually. This one here says that, greetings, please informating people that I want to make so I want to provide him some documents, armed forces regulations, you say. Um, okay. Thank you. That, that, I'm sure, is on the side issue. Okay. Um, this All one right. here this says, one. Musa Abatwa in Aswase, Alfred, if lawyer Banson's argument is anything to go by, should, in case John Mahama assume office in 2025, um, if lawyer Amaleba should be appointed as Chief Justice simply because he denounced his membership with NDC, with all due respect to him. Law without the application of common sense is useless, you say. Uh, for me, the Supreme Court has not been fair to the people of Sao if their ruling emphasized on people's representation, hence the decision to deny Sao representation serves government's says, political interest, you say. And there's the other one as well. There's also says the future is pregnant. Henry from Kuforidia, the five Supreme Court judges could not have accepted the Speaker Abambabin's plea to set aside the injunction placed on Parliament because they felt that they would become an embarrassment in this situation. It is sad that the Supreme Court, which is to make things clearer for us, is rather making this difficult and confusing for us to understand. And you, there is also... Professor Kweku Azar, good morning. Thank you very much for also the post and the message. He says, politicians can champion a position in the morning and oppose it by evening. 
but the courts cannot afford such inconsistency. Their very survival depends on stability and adherence to principle. Courts derive their legitimacy from the steadfast, even-handed application of the law. The moment they, are, uh, or they falter, interpreting the same facts to support jurisdiction in one case, but deny it in another, they chip away public trust. Courts cannot extol the right to a fair hearing mm -hmm. only to decide some cases in ex parte hearings. Mm -hmm. Courts can't resolve some disputes in a matter of hours, while others equally significant uh -huh. languish for years. Courts can't enjoin an uh -huh. MP from serving their constituents for 15 months while underscoring the sanctity of representation in other cases. People can accept decisions they disagree with as long as those decisions are consistent. Yeah. What citizens resist is what they perceive as anansi, anansi justice um, for some and in Tekuma justice for others. Such disparities breed suspicion and resentment. When courts fail to apply principles evenly, the public tunes out, yeah. disregarding rulings that may, in, in truth, contain sound reasoning. Consistency isn't just an ideal, it's the foundation of judicial legitimacy. Dr. Arthur Kennedy, do you align with these concerns as well, as espoused by Professor Kwekwazar? Um, mostly, but not completely. Which ones do you align with exactly? Um, so, I, I think that, let me first go to what um, the public has debated about um, what Speaker Babin did, and the question of whether um, the answer is completely judicial or indeed judicial and political. I think it is both judicial and political. And uh, to illustrate that, I remind um, your viewers of the 1996 case between Rollins and Aka that never went to court. If you remember, Aka, who was the sitting vice president, agreed to join Kufo as a running mate while still sitting as the vice president of Rawlings. And if you recall, Rawlings tried to, in effect, forcefully get him out of a cabinet meeting. Let us suppose that Mr. Rawlings had, as would have been appropriate, gone to court to say that Aka had lost the right to stay as vice president because he couldn't be trusted. Mm. To tell Rawlings that a car who was going to run on Kufo's ticket to try and remove him will be trusted as a certain vice president and take part in deliberations that might in include his confidential strategy about the election will be to ignore human nature. So there was a concern there. In the same way, if an NDC MP with a year left to election announced that he will run on the MPP ticket in the next election, but um, wants to participate in the MPP caucus. Human nature will make us understand that it will be unfair to tell the MPP that they should still trust that MP because um, they wouldn't um, trust his ability to keep their confidences and more important, his willingness to keep their welfare at heart. So mm -hmm. I posit that the response to the conundrum posed by the four MPs it's clearly legal, but it is also political at some level. And you talk about politics, if you recall, um, at the beginning of 2021 in Parliament, Babin ruled because of the peculiar circumstance and the number of MPP members and NDC members that there were not going to be majority and minority focuses, but majority and minority groups. And both parties accepted that because it was practical in a situation that was clearly foreseen by the Constitution. Um, as Professor Kweku Azar makes very clear in his right, I'm talking about the Mayan Anansi Justice, he's right that course must be consistent when you look at the equation case, when you look at the trophy above the Lobi and the big case in which they have not had representation. Um, the fact that in the question case, the court comfortably 
um, suspended Grayson's ability to represent his constituent, but on this case, uh, hammering away at the right of constituents to representation. It begs the question of whether the constituents um, in Jack Grayson's place, um, the constituents in Sam, and the constituents in these four constituents are not all Ghanaians. If they are all Ghanaians, then one would posit that they ought to be treated by a consistent standard. That is what Professor Asari talks about, about stable principles and what the lawyers hear with apologies to call stare decisis, which means that courts respect their own precedents and their predictability. That is also why, for example, um, Chachuchikata um, will talk about a judicial crisis that is more significant than the economic crisis that we have. So, I do not um, pretend that I can lecture all the eminent lawyers listening and the lawyers on your panel about law, but I can tell them a little bit about politics. I think that um, people say that a judge is indeed a lawyer who knows a president. So, yes, the Supreme Court has the final say on law, and as um, people say, they are infallible because they are final. They are not final because they are infallible. But we know that there is always the judgment of history. The fact that the court said something doesn't mean that eternally we all believe that. And long before Western um, law came, we had our own common sense native law, um, which ruled and applied the same principles that Western law applies. So if we look into history, and you look at, for example, Marbury versus Madison, a decision made as far back as 1803, but it has stood the test of time and drawn the admiration of people across centuries. In contrast, when you look at the Dress Court decision, 1857, Places versus Ferguson, 1897, and etc. in the U.S., all the way up to the Chevron case. And if you come to Ghana, there are cases that have and will continue to live in infamy, like Ruby Akuto, like, for example, the Amu case, in with the case of um, parliamentary elections that were taken to court language for the full term before the court ruled, when it didn't matter, that indeed the applicant was right, that had been validly disqualified from being a member of parliament. Okay. And of course, we know about the double case. When this same court sat, when it was urgent and armed, like the Supreme Court Chief Justice eloquently talked about, was being done not just to Mr. Domelo, but to the people of Ghana. They happily looked the other way. As we sit here, the right. president has been attended to the LGBT right. law, and they are happily sitting there. So it will seem, as Professor Azar eloquently said, that the speed in some cases and the slowness in some cases appear inconsistent and to common sense interpretation seems blatantly political. Right. There is also the question of respect. Yes. I think that we undermine the stability of our system when we travel with parliament with the speaker. This is not about speaker popping as a name. It is about the institution of parliament. Right. It is the only branch of government that can do executive oversight. Mm. So when we demean and disrespect it, we indirectly undermine the foundations of our collective governance. Finally, I also think that one of the most important essences of the judiciary, and particularly of the chief justice, is what we call judicial temperance. Anger, the issuing of threats, you know, um, telling people that you know, the court will do whatever it likes and not, the very body language does not promote judicial temperament and respect for co equal branches of government. And indeed, historically, even when we say co equal branches of government, we are flattering the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court doesn't mm. have an as Justice Scalia once said, mm -hmm. a judge, he was somewhere traveling outside the United States. Somebody said, right. so 
why do people listen to you said what you said? say? You know, in other parts of the world, sometimes force make decisions and they are ignored. The ability of people to respect God's decisions and respond to it directly come from goodwill and the fact that everybody sees the role of the court in society. When a court gets so political, it will get to a time when people will not respect the court's ruling. And even in almighty United States, there have been, what do they call it, instances when um, presidents have not respected courts. There's the famous case of Eisenhower who said, let uh, Chief Justice go and enforce his own ruling. So let us be careful here. Let the Chief Justice tread with caution and with respect. And I think that, yes, this is a judicial question, but it is also a political question that we be made to tread very cautiously and tread very respectfully and maintain what classically is called judicial temperament, which is that judges must never demonstrate anger and disrespect and the kind of emotions that we do not associate with the impartial administration of justice. A very important, in fact, number of points that you make there about this matter not being about Speaker Bugbin, but about the institution of Parliament. And, and if we're not careful, we may end up, as it were, indirectly undermining the foundations of our, of our democracy that we are practicing. But on the matter of the politics and the law, the Chief Justice held in, in her view when this objection was raised about the, the presence of Justice Yao, Gao's uh, presence on the panel. In her view, this matter was a constitutional issue and not a political party case or political issue because this was an, a matter of the invocation of the Supreme Court's jurisdiction. But then again, taking into consideration the previous alignment and association of Justice Yao Gao's, as it were, party affiliation, was that a concern for you? based on where you sat, as was raised by others and as has been indicated earlier this morning on this program, that just for the optics, not maybe for the law, but for the optics and the perception that the public would have, that should have been considered in the scheme of things. Hello, Doc. I, I, you, 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 if you can unmute for me, if you can unmute for me, I, I, I didn't hear you. Hello? Hello? So, yeah, I yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So, um, I, frankly, even human beings, do not believe that somebody who has been clearly a partisan should sit on this case on the presumption that that person is in person. In fact, in the same way that, in my opinion, peace. I felt that Speaker Babin was playing politics, even though he was cloaked in the gaps of a neutral speaker. It is also true that um, Justice Gao and other members of the court have clearly been partisans in the past, um, would have served it better if they had refused themselves. After all, I mean, the Supreme Court has um, had about what, 10 or so other members, and we could have been able to find a panel of five, none of who had any obvious ties to the MPP or for that matter to the NPC, or whose ties were not that blatant. So I think that um, for the sake of appearances and conflict of interest, the court should have disqualified this as they were from certain attacks. The, the, well, the court held otherwise. And with what we are confronted now, is it a matter of whether the Supreme Court has jurisdiction or not, or the concern of the precedence that this is setting for future instances in court? Do you share that concern as well? Uh, 
invitation of the Lord. But I worry about the precept that is being said. And I also worry about the fact that all of us have not considered the nuances of the case as well as we should. And as I make clear in my reference to the Rollins and the Amu cases, um, some of these things are not just about law. And for example, looking at this particular case, if we, this parliament had said two years to go, it would have been very easy to declare the seats as vacant, go to a by-election, and if those people would contest on their new tickets, they could have contested and then would move on. Of course, the reason why this becomes significant is because we are in a place where it will be impossible to hold by elections for the rest of the parliamentary term. However, applying practical common sense, it seems patently inconsistent, and I'm being very charitable, for the same Supreme Court that had no qualms about suspending Quason representing his people for 15 months, mm -hmm. that had looked the other way, where the people of South had not had representation for the full term of this parliament, to suddenly wake up and be so concerned about representation. It is obvious that their main goal is not representation, it is politics. Mm -hmm. yeah. The main goal is not about the concern of representation. You see uh, politics at play. Politics. Uh, of course, because if they were concerned about representation, they would have been concerned about it in the Quasin case. They would have been con concerned about it yes. for the people of Santrofia, Pafulolubi, and Mipe, and they haven't been. So all of a sudden, this concern about representation remains hollow, respectfully. Well, but uh, there was that argument by one of the lawyers on this panel this morning that the, the Supreme Court has the option of exercising discretion to speed up matters of this nature as well. So in your view, did they exercise this discretion fairly or it was whimsical and capricious as applies to the other cases as referenced? Um, it was whimsical and capricious and inconsistent. And um, yes, they have discretion, but that is what Professor Kwekwaza was talking about, about stable, predictable, fair and impartial application of principle. <laughs> When the application of principles become inconsistent and that undermines the reputation of those applying the principles. So in the matter as we are faced with right now, Parliament is, is, has been recalled again convened on November 7. The fundamental issue has not been dealt with as we speak. So what should be the most considerable option going forward in dealing with this matter is it is it a legal route to the solution or one outside of the courts um, i think the solution lies outside the courts because in actual fact you know i have a feeling and i'm very confident that we'll hear from speaker babin in detail in the next few days but remember that at the beginning of this parliament in 2021, he declared that there were no majority and minority caucuses. There were only majority and minority groups. And he has educated me about the fact that since like committee chairmanships and others have been shared almost equally among the parties, I think that the route to having this parliament sit is to actually let them continue as groups and not as majority and minority caucuses because if he reconvenes and the NDC assesses right to be the majority and the ND MPP insists on it, he might have to adjourn again. The compromise might be for the two sides to agree to set that aside. And the NDC have a lot of very strong cards because the MPP government has business that it wants parliament to conduct. And if those, that business is going to be conducted, it will have to compromise in a way that will let Parliament sit so that the business will be done without this distraction of who is majority and who is minority. Well, the, well, the position that J Justice Yao Gao denounced his membership of the MPP um, when he appeared before the Appointments Committee and Parliament going ahead to eventually approve him be enough justification for him to have been part of this panel? I have already said I don't think you should have been part of the panel. But you see, that, that is where, when people start flexing muscles, funny things start happening. Can Parliament, for example, 
go back and say that he lied to them and therefore um, he could be impeached for that or he could be removed for that. All these are considerations that we must be careful and must try and um, tiptoe around so that we do not deepen what is an evolving constitutional crisis. Dr. Arthur Kennedy, I appreciate your first input on this, and please don't go away as yet. On the matter of the constitutional crisis concern, in fact, the Chief Justice espoused the same concern that, yes, indeed, she accepts that we are, we are in a constitutional crisis as we speak. Now, take, a, take a look at this. This is a constitutional crisis. Uh, we are living in a country where the parliament is not sitting. What is going on? I, I'm not too sure that this would, is to enable parliament to declare. Very well. Yes. I, I take it. That, that's really... Well, so there you have it. This is the constitutional crisis that we are faced with. And I want to have... Uh, again, and Mr. Jampo, that's just to reemphasize the point that we cannot go around this matter and not be talking about where the solution lies. Yeah. The Chief Justice knows that this is a constitutional crisis. Just listen again. This is a constitutional crisis. Uh, we are living in a country where the parliament is not sitting. What is going on? I, I'm not too sure that this would, is to enable parliament to declare. Very well. Yes, I, so. I take it. That, that's really in yes, your so if I would be Does the solution lie with the courts or outside of the courts? Lawyer, Martin Pebble, quickly, before we let. Uh, so it can be both, depending on how both conduct themselves and approach the matter. Okay. So I say both because, you see, as I said, I mean, I've already made the same point that Professor Ajampo and uh, uh, this uh, honorable Dr. Mepo have made, that I don't think the court handled the matter well okay. from several angles, the optics, the demeanor, delivery tone, and the, the justification of Justice Gao still being on. Uh, yes. The, uh, that yeah. Oh, that I've made it very clear. Oh, he's a, uh, this is a very fine judge. Oh, in the high court. Yeah, yeah fine. Judge. Oh, I'm very personable. When you meet him, oh. That was a nice man, uh, but that's not what we are talking about. Today, we are talking about <laughs> he's sitting on a matter involving his party, and, he, and that one day, I mean, how? His Me, Pebu, yes. How am I coming to sit here to say something else? No, it, even, I'm not yeah, sure how I'll open my mouth. He resigned. Oh, but that one. And that's why you passed him, isn't it? Ah. And you're saying his party. Oh, but okay. his, his party is correct for a, 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 so, listen, a, so, a very what extended period. And this we've only really been on the Supreme Court for yeah, many months. No more so, so the, the, you for say, all practical purposes, you, when so you, you say his party, it is correct and final. It is not so. so I mean, from all the angles, he was the this was bad. First. And I, I so I sit down and I'm like, ah, can't we do better? No, there's a way you could have been very fine about this in a way that would have bought the buy-in of the speaker. Because look, it was so crude. Yeah. Very, very crude. I'm like, ah, no. I don't know where nah, nah. Okay. okay. We have well, a long well, way to judges. go. Thank you. We have, have a long way to go. The would have said that, no. um, let me recuse myself. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been, um, I've seen example, so many mm -hmm. instances where people... Uh, flimsy things have been said. So no, because of that, I'm, I'm, I'm just recusing yes. myself. Well, yes. I, was, I belong to I belong to a search panel that was searching, uh, looking for a dean for one of our schools, and somebody wrote anonymously that um, the chair of this panel. Don't go into details, please. No, no, no. The chair of this panel um, uh, knows the wife of one of the applicants, mm. Mm. and then. We looked at it, we said to the extent that it was anonymous, we should just um, describe it as frivolous. The, the, the chair said, no, 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 um, I'm recusing myself. Good. We pleaded with him, he said no. So I'm thinking that this one, the, 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 there shouldn't have even been any defense. The man himself, yeah. out of his own volition, he said, look, I don't want, I want this matter to be handled clean. And so I am accusing to the extent that there are so many judges, uh, judges of the Supreme Court, another person could have been brought, so that we would have created that semblance of yes. trying to look okay, out okay. for uh, the well-being of the of, of the of the country. Okay, so Mr. Kansi, so I still have the floor. So in what a in a minute. So this is what Lord Chief Justice Hayward once said, that famous statement. Justice must not only be done, but must manifestly and undoubtedly 
be seen to be done. Semblance. Mm, the, yes. the up things, yes. I don't know. When I heard the ruling of the Supreme Court on the, that, uh, this, uh, that, that objection, I was like, ah, is this Ghana? I mean, come on, look, you can do better. Okay. Trust me, you can do better. You, the Supreme Court didn't help themselves when they said, this is a constitutional matter, it's not a party matter. I was like, ah, what, what reasoning is this? To be honest, it didn't go far at all. That thing is MPP versus NDC. As soon as the chief justice said that, there were lay people be, just seated by me who started turning. I mean, you see, come on, look, it let's goes. do better. Yes, who started okay. turning? I was like, ah, why, 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 why? Because right. I was like, no, this decision, please, please, please. The optics alone even throw away everything. And don't forget, you know, Senor Hosi did very well. He wrote a letter, open letter to the CJ. Well, he chronicled how trust in the judiciary has plummeted mm. from 65% in 2012 to what? 35% no. in 2024. Halved. Halved. <laughs> and we're doing this. I'm just like, you see, when you look at how jazzship is done, eh? this thing, I keep saying that. Anyway, sometimes she doesn't have me on pay bunny. Otherwise, this thing, you just keep quiet. You see, sometimes a judge wants to do you in. The judge will tolerate you. Oh. Uh, like, you know, give prominence your arguments and this one and that. Okay. Do however, all those and okay. then finally land softly. However. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> but this one you can just see from the one. It's like we will railroad everything. Like That's Honorable okay. Dafia Member well, said, so you print file print a print case print at 1240. And by right. 2 p.m. you have a full panel of judges. Look, no, Mr. Uh, Kansi, wait, listen. When you file a case, when you go to Supreme Court, you go and file a case where the registry is. Mm -hmm. You see the 1240 that is endorsed on. Mm -hmm. They've not finished though. Mm -hmm. When they finish, they now have to open files. Mm -hmm. Write, even when you are writing the title, mm -hmm. when you are writing the title of the case mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. okay. all right, mm -hmm. that's a lot. And you're going to write for what? Five? To even before you take a, a decision to open that file, mm -hmm. before you take a decision to open that file immediately, there were calls. Because listen, when you file the thing right now, they put it down, right? And then there are so many procedures. Then you would write, all right? Then go and look for the registrar. Then registrar. Well, filing clerks are different from the registrar. Ah, and okay. before you get that date, Master, the labyrinth, the so many steps you there go through. There was no date on the right, Thank you. Yeah, no, 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 no. You no, need no, to study how things are filed, and you see that speed. That speed raises a thousand and one questions. Yes. I, 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 I. Um, Matt say that it's been a very rich discussion. Just have a few, um, uh, not responses because they were not directed at me, but Indeed. comments. Right. Um, the issue of, and I was saying it off air, that sometimes it's good to let the public know what has actually happened and then leave the commentary. Then, because if you don't know what has happened and you are just commenting, 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 then it's, it loses the essence of what has actually happened. And so if you take, for instance, um, as practitioners, nobody would deny that it was quite unusual for an application most, to be filed. Most unusual. Uh, most unusual, yeah. whatever uh, adjectives you want to put right. on it. You, you use that but but, okay. but <laughs> for a motion to be filed in the Supreme Court mm -hmm. on a Friday and head on the same day. But there may be a reason why. That was not trumpeted in the, in the application to set aside that order. In the application to set that aside that order, that, the fact that it was filed and heard on the same day was not listed as one of the grounds. I'm oh, sorry, mentioned it. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying that it wasn't trumpeted. It may not have been deposed. But that is deposed where to. you need to understand oh. what really went on. Me finish, but <laughs> because ah. even though we as practitioners will admit that it is most unusual to borrow your word, it is not illegal. So we would have to state that there's nothing in the law that prevents a motion being filed and heard on the same it's day. How, it is not, yes. However, from, from our practice and experience, it is something that it's not done. We've not seen it, to, especially to see a Supreme Court sit on a Friday. So that in the speaker's, afternoon. Afternoon. Okay. <laughs> in the speaker's motion, he didn't say that set aside the order because it was filed and heard on the same day. Right. Now, as to the, the, the comparison with the issue of misrepresentation and sal and what have you, initially I said I didn't have facts. I've gone online to read a few things. That one, we all admit that that case is not before the Supreme Court as we speak. 
it went to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court delivered the decision. Yes. Mm. They sent it back. Yes. So as it stands now, you cannot blame the Supreme Court that Sal is pending or you've not done anything about Sal. In fact, I read that even the Attorney General, when he wrote a report to Parliament, disagreed with the EC's position. Honorable, you can confirm because, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. the attorney, this Attorney General said he disagrees with what the EC has done in terms of Sal, and that he has given a way of how he thinks should be, should be done, should be correct. And this was before 2020 elections. So if what he suggested... No, 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 no. no it was uh, two years ago, when he became AG. In 2020, was he was deputy uh, AG. After okay, so he gave that opinion when... But he gave the opinion in 2020. No, but, he, but well, when I, when I read... No, no, it was... Okay, however, it is... Question. That was By Kofi Adams. Okay. Uh, regarding the South. But what what is it? The, this, no, it was. Tweet, so after that, yes, after so as it stands now, the Supreme Court, for lack of a better word, is not responsible for what is happening in South. Mm -hmm. Because when the matter came before, and the Supreme Court is not the High Court that entertained the decision. I do not know if those people that were referred to come back to the Supreme Court have filed a new writ. We don't know that. Now, on the issue of sovereignty, yes, yes, but to the extent that the uh, CJ was aware that um, issues in the SAR people, the, the SAR case, was it the CJ in 2020? No, 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 but but in this particular instance, okay. to the extent that they knew that um, people of SAR had been denied representation, yes. to the extent that the just chicken incident mm -hmm. happened and they said he should, shouldn't go. And represent his. I was expecting yeah, that. Was yeah, uh, yes, I was expecting that. You see, these things would okay. have tempered yeah. the utterances and the, the brazen, the brazen show of his commitment to fight the potential non-representation of people for just two months. I, okay. I, I was, I was so, surprised. So, and you should, you but, should, you should, you should but, understand but, 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 that. You should understand. Why, why you not? No, why no, you not? No, why you not no, shocked? I'm, I'm not, See the same. No, hold on, we should, hold on, we should, we should yeah, use the yeah, same yes, principles it, to too. judge. You know, to to judge situations. So that my worry is that you see. There are perceptions about um, the courts that are not too good. And if you look at, as he said, various Afrobarometer studies, you know, the perceptions keep going down. And I'm thinking that the judiciary itself should be concerned and should be mindful about how, what it can do to um, redeem those sinking image. Okay. But if you do some of this, you, one, at one point in time, you espouse a certain principles, and at other point in time, it's like um, you don't really. Point well made. Then, then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Point, point, point well made. Well you you make your point. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please. Yes. 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 Fair point. The Constitution, the first speech, states that sovereignty resides in the people. The representation of the people is what we have in Parliament. But the Constitution gives, I may not use the political uh, science phrase, but I think supremacy resides in the Constitution itself, right. not in any arm of government. Mm -hmm. Fortunately or unfortunately, the same Constitution says that if there is a dispute as to interpreting or enforcement of this Constitution, it is not Parliament or the Executive, mm -hmm. but it is the Supreme Court. And the Constitution says that if the Supreme Court in exercising this jurisdiction to interpret the Constitution, give certain orders or directions mm -hmm. to either executive or whoever it is, and that person refuses to comply, if it is the president or the vice, it constitutes high crime and the grounds for refusal. And so this same Constitution, that is the will of the sovereign people of Ghana, has vested that exclusive right in the Supreme Court. We may not be happy how the Supreme Court is interpreting or applying or exercising it, but the Supreme Court is exercising a right or a jurisdiction that the people have given to it. Okay. The Supreme Court, in, access, in, 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 in deal, dealing with it matters, the Constitution says that whilst they may be bound by their previous decisions, are allowed to depart from it. That right. is why, Senator Table, you'll agree with me mm -hmm. that a word like suspension of court orders mm -hmm. is not found in any of the rules of court. Mm -hmm. However, in Merchant Bank versus 
uh, uh, similar ways. Mm -hmm. Justice Atuguba said mm -hmm. they must look at the, 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 the situation yeah. and come up with new things that they think will meet the justice of the case. They have never, we have never heard the word suspension of court orders, mm -hmm. but Justice Atuguba did it. Yeah. Now, okay. the declaratory uh, decisions, whether they're executable or not, until that Ojai Doom case, mm -hmm. we never could have thought yeah. that a, deci a mere declaration... And telecom. Telecom. <laughs> and we never yeah. would have thought that a mere declaratory statement, Supreme Court can say we are staying execution. <laughs> we were all surprised. Your father did okay. it. <laughs> we were all surprised. <laughs> but, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'm just landing. Yes, but the fact, the fact is that those other matters... We are not complaining about it because the parties are not politicians yep, or they do not have political implication. But as soon as something is done, which is outside the norm, because of the parties involved or the implications, right. then we say that they are political undertones. Prof, the uh, perception, the Supreme, the judges, Judicial Service, unfortunately, they don't have a PR session. <laughs> Hey, so or they now they do, but I don't recall yeah, that that them. they would sit down, organize press conferences to explain some of the things that they have done. Oh, but CG has been doing so. Press in, conferences in respect of the LGBTQ. No, so no, that, is that, that, that is what I'm saying. That that is what I'm saying. That to be responsible for the perception, mm -hmm. some of us who have the opportunities to explain what they have done should, as much as possible, stick to the facts and the law. And then before we can go to the second stage of bringing whatever we think may have influenced the decision. And okay. I have not always agreed with the Supreme Court. I have written lots of articles on decisions that they have given right. that I think were not done in accordance with what I thought was the law. But it doesn't substitute my opinion and then say that there were political undertones when I don't have evidence of it. L L yes. Uh, you okay. see, Bansin, whether in or outside Bansin of the court, say, quickly that it doesn't have the evidence of a political undertone. But there is. It's in the affidavit. The man no, came... No, that influenced the decision. Yes, but that is the affidavit. The affidavit is in support of the application. Mm -hmm. And it is the affidavit that the court must consider. In the affidavit, Apenu is saying, I have become a minority. <laughs> <laughs> the majority who hold the majority, the minority now, who had become a majority, the whole parliamentary inquiries, Against my appointees, mm -hmm. they will make us unpopular. The economic, the economic situation will become un the, the, the 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 government cannot handle a, the economic situation. We are in an election year, so the government will become unpopular. These were the things he deposed to. Okay. How else should the Supreme Court be convinced that the matter that has been brought before them is purely politics? Indeed, it's only Parliament. Parliament is the only organ. That the constitution permits political parties to send representatives. Mm -hmm. If you don't appreciate these things, then you'll be you'll be speaking about things happening in parliament as so well national interest. No, the, the parties have representatives there. The okay. constitution permits us to have representatives and do politics. In fact, you can have a president who appoints his ministers, they may not appoint his, his, his party people. Mm -hmm. That's the executive. The judiciary, they are not supposed to be partisan. Okay. But in Parliament, we are supposed to be partisan. So when things are happening in Parliament, it's about politics. So when the judiciary is, wants to interfere, they must have recourse to these undertones. Right. And understand that in Parliament, it's about partisanship, partisanship, partisanship. That is why they encourage consensus building. If you don't encourage that, there will be a gridlock, there will be a breakdown. Okay. Now, MPP. This government, they came to parliament, they came to speak at Babin with an application for Adwa Safu to be removed. Under Article 97.1, C. Why? They claim that she absented herself from 15 parliamentary sitting days. Well, were we not in this country? Mm -hmm. They came because at that time there was time for, there was time such that if Adwa had been, had been removed, had been declared to have vacated the seat, there would have been a by election. Mm -hmm. They are doing all these things because we are within the 90-day the, the window, window period that has been shut to conduct or by elections. They deposed to that fact before the Supreme Court. So when the Supreme Court becomes oblivious of Article 1126, that says that within such a period, constitutionally, a by-election cannot be conducted. But so that when, is what the CJ said. No. 
Afeno I, I, I'm not sure. Hold, that they should hold on. Listen to, that. to me carefully. Afeno deposed to that fact. Mm -hmm. So if the CJ didn't see the angle, the perspective Afeno is urging, that if you don't shift the political power in parliament, yeah, we are doomed. Ah, better to solve issues than that. Okay. That's uh, not your point. I'm saying. Conclude. I'm saying. The Afeno deposed to that fact and quoted the constitutional provision for the court mm -hmm. and was telling the court that we don't have the opportunity to organize a by election. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you don't if you don't reverse the, the political power shift in parliament, my government is doomed. We are in an election year. We can't govern. There will be inquiries against my people. I am not concocting this fact. These are, these are containing his own affidavits. And the court now says that because the, the, the constituencies that these MPs represent will be denied representation. When the constitution says, when, anything, any, when any provision is activated under 97-1 within this period, you cannot. Did you land? You cannot organize a by-election. So right. what was the Supreme Court saying? Okay. All right? Yeah, because it's less than... It's, it's less than 90 yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. So wow. there's nothing, whether you add that on the court or not, that is the constitution. It cannot right. be done. So don't come and argue that before the court. Okay. So it was no basis for you to come before us. The other basis for which they came. You understand what is. The other basis for which they came yes. is that I can read the, the NDC majority it's will be holding will be holding it's inquiries. Not. Inquiries into what? Into corrupt deals. <laughs> corrupt deals. Corrupt deals. And Bill. that it will make them unpopular in an election year. And the Supreme Court agrees that okay, that will happen. So we should reverse the power. Okay. So. Let me, let me conclude by saying there is no crisis. We don't have any constitutional crisis. Really? It is the court that is creating the crisis. Ah. It is the court that is creating this crisis. I see. And the court ought to know that. Because if the court had not interfered, there would have been no crisis at all. Because the constitution provides for these scenarios in respect of the speaker, the similar provisions. Look at 95. And in 97, for members of parliament. It is only when you say that I have not left the MPP. And I've sent you something. Look at the notice of poll. If, if your, 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 um, uh, your producer, producer can post the notice of poll, as we, we speak. Have it. Okay. Cynthia Mamley remains an independent candidate in the, in the 7 December general elections. How do you expect her to belong to the MPP? in parliament okay the second deputy speaker who came to parliament you see let's make the argument final the constitution permits you to associate with with a group a caucus in parliament when you are independent but when you join them formally to be on their ticket constitution says you must go under 97 2 it tells you the circumstances under which as a member of parliament when you join another party, you stay in parliament. So the constitution, there's no confusion. The constitution says when there's a merger, when two parties merge, okay. you, you are entitled to remain in parliament. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Nelson Ross and Daphne, thank you very much. The notice of poll, you And finally, no, no, oh, final, no, no, final, no, no, final, no, no, final, no, no, Supreme no, Court order, no, Supreme no, Court order. You're, you're, you know, you're in the Yana case, in the Yana case, the Supreme Court gave a final ruling. is off air. Thank you. No, it's not <laughs> fair. The, no, the Supreme fair. Court gave a you're, final you're, ruling you're, in the Yana You are not being heard. But it was not it was not, it was it, not it, observed. You are not being heard. I, I, you are not I, being heard. I think we have done a lot of analysis here. We've gone mm -hmm. so far. Indeed. And we have said that at the end of the day, Parliament should sit down, have a resolution, go back and work for Ghana. Right. The okay. position my learned friend is taking, he's taking us back to before we started and saying that this is the point and this and that. You are, you are going into the discussion of the matter before the court. It is what was done with the court has stayed. Let us respect the court. The, that your, is what you have, you have, no, called, oh, oh. you have been called back to parliament. We expect, we Ghanaians, we yeah. expect. <laughs> whether uh, X Y Z, I'm challenging the court. Whether X Y Z, whether X Y Z, MPP, NDC, whatever it is, we expect okay. that Parliament will begin to function okay. again. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you which does not include this loggerhead attitude and stance, 
let it fall down. That's the reason why we're saying the Council of State has come in. You were saying that if you're happy, that should because we should be able to bring things down. The Council so of State that, that came. Do you know that so that came? So that you could just thank you. Someone who let the Council of State. Do you know who is? Now, now, now. Someone could just now. Now, 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 you are speaking to a certain constituency, or you are governing some governing some base, which is not what we expect. That from is wrong. Okay. You want no, 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 you, no, no, no. I take. I take. But you have. But you have also. No, I you have also not impugned I, I am the the, the the position of the uh, the his uh, learned senior. Samokuja to in coming to do what is needful as a member of a council of state. Whatever, saying, whatever, oh, is, hold on, hold on, whatever is political persuasion, whatever is political persuasion is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know who he is? 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 Do you know who very much. Okay, now, make see, your point. We must, we must calm down tempers. Stop this, this against that log right. ahead, so that you go to parliament. Tell the and Supreme Court to calm down tempers. Oh, is that the Supreme Court rather is aiding you? Supreme Court rather is aiding you to calm down tempers, <laughs> so that you can go back. But this stance, it doesn't help anyone at all. And okay. the person who is rather come, if I if this council is it, all of that will be judged by the president. Can you say that because they come in? Then they, they, they are colored and therefore yeah, they, are yeah, they are politically oh, tainted. Oh no! Thank you. They are politically tainted. That, 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 that is most unfortunate. Yes, that is most unfortunate. They have an interest this. in the matter. Is, yes, Thank everyone, you. me, they everyone, every interest. single guy has an interest in Thank this. Thank you very much. So that parliament will work. Every Thank person. You. And lawyer Amakwa, Kingsley Amakwa, no.